Hi, this is Mike at the Monchar, and I'm going to take you on a tour of my final chain reaction, which was completely inspired by the Monchar Museum. And I know a lot of us are missing the Monchar, um, but if you've ever been there when the train has gone by, you know it kind of shakes the whole building. So I was kind of using that as the start of my reaction. The lumbering freight train rolling by and waking up our slumbering museum and bringing it back to life. So the freight train rolls by. It bangs into our chain reaction cups. The top one will tip over, but it's hinged, so it pulls on a summer camp name tag, uh, releasing one of our rollways golf balls down the ramp off the turtle's back into our balancing blocks, which when they fall, will then lift up on a lever that's holding back a chain, like our old lariat chain. As it unwinds through a hole, it'll eventually yank on the string, which causes the frog to hop off of the extended handle. The handle will fall and play a little music for us. Uh, it'll also crank a gear, which releases a ball down our ball machine. And it does a third thing. It pulls on another string, which then lifts up a lever holding back the ball on our chain reaction magnet wall. As that one rolls down, it lands into a little hoop, uh, which then pulls back on a ball, releasing a whole bunch of pennies down into our penny well. They'll go around and around and eventually fall into the center, uh, which is the other end of another seesaw, which will lift up on this end until a magnet switch is closed, turning on a fan, uh, and as it's going up too, it will also lift a bubble wand out of the solution. And so our finale will be a bunch of bubbles moving across the room.